Bettina Ortiz Jimena is a former Miss Venezuela and Miss Universe runner-up. The wife of Miami Auto Parts tycoon Herman Ortiz Jimena. At every restaurant, she chose grace with her presence. She was always greeted with reverence and whisked to the exact table that she desired. But today, on the table at Sip Sip, her favorite spot on Harbor Island, where she could comfortably sit and eat her Cali Cesar salad while enjoying a beautiful view, was taken. The party and the loud tourists are taking too much time. She got impatient and enraged that she couldn't get what she wanted. Bettina fumed as she glared at the tourists happily savoring their lunch in the sun. Look how tacky they were. The women overly tanned, wrinkled, and sucky. None of them were properly lifted or buttocks. And the men were even worse, all dressed in all rumpled shirt and shorts. Wearing those cheap straw hats sold at the trinket shop on Jamore Street. Why did such people have to come here? Bettina finally snapped and stormed into the kitchen in rage. She runs on the woman with pixie cut blonde hair named Julie, the owner of the restaurant. Julie, honey, what's the delay? I've waited more than 15 minutes for my table. Sorry, Bettina, it's been one of those days. The party of 12 on the terrace showed up first before you did. But the terrace is your prime spot. Why on earth did you let those tourists take up all that space? Well, the tourist in the red fishing cup is the Duke of Lancora. His party just boated over from Windermere. That's his royal heisman you see moored off the coast. Isn't it the most handsome sailboat you've ever seen? I'm not impressed by big boats. Bettina Haft, although secretly, she was rather impressed by people with big title. From the kitchen window, she surveyed the party assembly on the terrace with new eyes. These Aristo-British types were such a strange breed. Sure, they had their saddle row suits and their hair in tiaras, but when they traveled, they looked so painfully prompty. It was only then that Bettina noticed three ten well-built men in fitted white t-shirt and black Kevlar pants sitting at the adjacent table. The guys weren't eating but sat watchful, sipping glasses of seltzer water. I assume that's the Duke's security detail? They couldn't be more obvious. Don't they know that we're all billionaires here on Berlin? And this isn't how we roll? Actually, those bodyguards belong to the Duke's special guests. They did a whole sweep of the restaurant before the party arrived. They even searched my walk-in freezer. See the Chinese fellow seated at the end of the table? Bettina squinted through her Dior Ecstasy sunglasses at the portly, Bobbing 70 something Asian men dressed in a nondescript white short sleeve gold shirt and gray trousers. Oh, I didn't even notice him. Am I supposed to know who he is? That's Alfred Sheng. 
he looks like their chauffeur. Doesn't he look like that guy who used to drive Jane Weimer around the Falcon Crest? Julie, who was trying to focus on searing a cat of tuna to perfection, shook her head a tight-lipped smile. From what I heard, that chauffeur is the most powerful man in Asia. Oh, what's his name again? Thank mm -hmm. you.